What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So Touch of the Poet, back with another one, Trek Through Poetry. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get any further, Happy New Year's to everyone. We are freshly into 2023, and I hope everyone is off to a great start. I hope everyone is going to have a prosperous year, all that good stuff. But hey, as I've told you before, this is Trek Through Poetry, where I give you poetry that I've written from 97 on forward. It's either completed or completed, published in one of my books or not, or have posted on social media or, or previously on YouTube or anything like that. But what I'm going to do with this now is break them down and let you know where my mindset was when I wrote them, um, identify if they were completed or not, and give you a short little conclusion, as well as, of course, I'm going to deliver the piece to you. Um, make sure, if you haven't already, check out the video I did for the prologue to a book that I'm going to complete entitled By Way of Memphis, um, that I started in 2015, and you can find the prologue in my first book, um, Taste My Poetry, Taste My Soul, which you can find on Amazon. You can also find my second book, Ballads of a Poeteer, on Amazon. And you can also find Soul Touch Presents, The Book of King, Quotes, Thoughts, and Invocations on Amazon, paperback, and ebook versions of that. With that being said, um, oh yeah, make sure you follow. The ch well, subscribe to the channel, um, hit that bell notification, comment, like, and definitely, definitely, most of all, share. Trying to get this channel built up, especially in 2023, I got goals. Um, but, you know, we're going to get into it. All right, this poem here is entitled Reckless. I wrote this back in 2015 uh, when I was going through my divorce from my last marriage. Um, it's not fully based on that divorce situation scenario, but that situation kind of was the catalyst to me writing that. Uh, I was separated at the time, and, you know, as I keep saying, poetry is my therapy, so I encourage you to pick up a piece of pen, a piece of paper, pen, and, you know, notebook, whatever the case may be, even your phone, uh, tablet, whatever, to get that stuff off your mind, body, soul, shoulders, back, and all that stuff, a stress reliever. That's what it is for me. But, again, I was going through that situation. Um, you know, I was, I was living, but I wasn't happy because of, you know, all, all that entailed. But anyway, with that being said, um, definitely check uh, how relatable it is to you. I'll just say that. See how relatable it is to you and see what you get out of that. And definitely give me your feedback below and I'll catch you on the other side. Reckless. Sometimes... Tears make a situation more painful than it could be. Even if the tears are necessary to flush your eyes of clouded vision, I'd rather cry in the shower so I can cleanse my tears. Even though there is no clean way to cry, it's hard to love still waters and turbulent seas. It's an effigy, meaning it's hard to love me. Through the coarsely ground grains of my life, I can gaze past my defaults and realize I've broken more hearts than mirrors, but these shards hurt. Life profusely flowing like blood. Her tears stained my shirt. Yes, I ignited a fire and ended up burning my own fingers. A fuck up is a fuck up, especially when the only thing left is the pain that lingers. What's worse is the realization that the pain inflicted is the pain one ends up dwelling in. A beautiful smile turned into a puddle of tears. Makeup streaks still soaked my fingers until her cries implanted deep inside my ears. 
with the contemplation of running to her or far away from her. Standing still shows no effect or it will not lose what's dear to me. Hell, I still daydream wishing she was right here with me. But I lost that, killed that, shattered it and left it broken. I tried to keep myself closed even though I was completely open. Not open enough since I only allowed her to be partially in. I lost. Damn it, I lost but I truly wanted to win. Is it worth crying for? I guess. I don't think begging will leave a badge of honor on my chest. Reach out, I cried. Called out, I was denied. I deserve that. In fact, I'm sure with my attempts, I'll never hear back from her. I thought I had no baggage, but damn, my luggage was packed tight. I exceeded the carry-on limit by its weight and dimensions because I expected more of her than I was given. That was an uneven fight. Why did I even think for a moment I deserve another chance? In her eyes, I'm nothing more than a typical John that lusted for unattached romance. I love her dearly. Yes, I love her deep. Now here I toss and turn, unable to fall asleep. I stare at my phone for a buzz, ring, or blink in front a notification. At this rate, I'll just be waiting and waiting. Fuck, <laughs> I'm still waiting. Oh well, I have to suck up my fuck up and be forced to let bygones be gone. I should have showed her better. Too late, my ship has sailed. And me, yes me, I missed the fucking boat foolishly. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was reckless. Um, yeah. Again, it was not solely based on my, completely on my marriage. It's the situation that I was going through. Um, I hope you got something from it. Uh, definitely appreciate whatever feedback you give me below. Um, yeah, like I say, man, um, relationships are hard um, if you're not prepared for them mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, uh, mature-wise, and stuff like that. So you definitely have to put that work in for a relationship. By no means am I a scholar or professional guru in relationships and stuff like that. I just know what I've been through, and I know what doesn't and what works for me. So you have to figure that out on your own. But, you know... Um, yeah, it's, it's just one of those things, man. I, when I wrote this, I, I was, I was, you know, I was in that kind of headspace, but you know, I'll say the good thing of, of it, the situation brought out creativity because during that time, and you'll probably hear this throughout a few of the poems that I've writ written during that time. Um, it did spark a level of creativity. And, yeah, I have a series of poems that I wrote during that time that I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a drop. You know what? Those are going to be, never mind. Let me, let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. But, um, again, my bad. I, I, this is what happens when you, when you're a poet and, and creativity, right? You just start going off and I, you, I was about to go off the rails, but hey, check out Trek Through Poetry Podcast on all podcast platforms. Check out the King and I Life podcast on all podcast platforms. Um, definitely, again, hit the YouTube channel up, all that good stuff. Follow me on all social media, Soul Touch the Poet. Um, yeah, I'm out before I start running off the rails. Again, Happy New Year's. Much love. Get my books. They're on Amazon, all three of them. And I'm out, baby.